Irvine and welcome to Go Your Own Way, a series of web videos brought to you by OSI to help you get the most out of your time in the outdoors using a map. Today we're down in County Wicklow around Jouse and Ballinastow where we're going to take two novices out mountain biking, show them how to use scales and grids to get the most out of their day and we're sure it's going to be a cracker. Okay, so we've got Carl and Emma here who are novice mountain bikers. Guys, are you looking forward to what's to come today? We certainly are, Heather, yeah. <laughs> Should be good fun, all right. There's a force for everything, so. And do you know what one of these are? I presume it's a map. Is it a map <laughs> of some sort, is it? <laughs> well, we're halfway there. I think that's yeah. a, good, a good indication that at least you know what it is. Yeah. Today, we're going to be looking at scales and grids and okay. show how you can identify where you are on the map using what's around us here and yeah. see how you can make the most out of planning a route for the days. So okay. this might be your first time mountain biking, but I tell you, yeah. there'll be lots more after this one. <laughs> okay, so today we're here with Niall from biking.ie, who's gonna show us how exactly we can use scales and grids to effectively plan our route for the day. As you can see, Ireland is actually split up into a grid. We're using number 56 on the Ordnance Survey maps today. Okay, guys. So welcome to Ballinastow, so it's, a, it's a clear to build mountain bike trail, so there's 14 kilometres of trail. And what we're going to do is set you a couple of challenges. The first one will probably be to get from the nearest village, which is Roundwood, yep. to Ballinastow. So what we're going to get you to do is start from Roundwood, yep. and you've got to try and find out where we are on this map. Okay. All right. Here we are, the wheel is bored here. Yep. So is that it here? Yeah, that's oh, we'll do you go. You see exactly. yeah. So now we've kind of pinpointed ourselves on the map here. Yep. If you were to tell your buddies who are coming up to join you, you need to be able to give them a grid reference okay. using the OSI maps. So what we want you to do yep. is try and work out a grid reference okay. for that little bike icon. No problem. Okay. 20 or 19. So right here. You identify correctly that you're in the box, which is somewhere between the 19. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then we're we're right on that right on that kind of eight. What we'll do now is I'd say we're nineteen point three or four. What would you think? Yeah. Yeah, I'd maybe three I'd say. Okay. Yeah. Eight, zero eight. Pretty much bang on the line. So that would be your grid reference for here. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what we're doing is using the scale. So each map is scaled down. To, to to suit kind of what's there in reality. Okay. So we've got one to 50,000 is the scale mm -hmm. on this one. You can get different sizes. You can get one to 25, you can get one to 75. Okay. So what we do is we have a grid on the far side. Yeah. And what that'll do, we'll just indicate the distance on the map yeah. to what that actually is on the ground. All right, okay. okay, yeah. So on the far side of the map, you'll see your, your scale. Mm -hmm. So you've got one in kilometers or you've got one in miles. I think most people are familiar with kilometers. Yep. So what you would do is, you would measure the distance on the map, bring it down here, and three inches or so is looking at kind of like three mm -hmm. kilometers, okay? Okay. So that's the way we're going to work it. So each one of these boxes represents a kilometer. All right, okay, yeah. So pretty basically, you can just look at the map and say to ourselves, count the boxes. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four boxes. So roughly it's four kilometers all right okay okay yeah so what we might do is get you a um, little bit of paper yeah get you a pen yeah we'll show you a few techniques of how you could actually maybe measure that, that a little sounds bit great. more accurately yeah okay that'd be great brilliant the route that we're going to take we're starting off with the the car park for the the lower entrance of the mountain yeah. bike trail and our aim for today is to cycle through some of the best parts of the mountain bike trail bringing us up to the viewpoint here as indicated on the yeah. on the discovery series, it's it's that kind of splayed blue line okay. that shows a viewpoint. So, right overlooking Loch Tay. So this is one of the most popular tourist points right, in okay. the in Wicklow, really. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out the little route. Okay. And then we can go from there. Yeah. So. And that will bring us out to our to our viewing point. So there's our finish. There's our start. Okay. So maybe what we get you guys to do is using the same technique, just find a clean edge of the paper. Yeah. Try to work out how long you think that route is going to be. For okay. Today. No problem at all. So okay. it's going to be something similar to what we did. Exactly. The exact same theory. Got 
of there. Happy enough? Yeah. Okay, great. So, I'll let you take that over to the scale now. Okay. Now we're going to try and piece this together. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? So 3.2 maybe? 3.2, happy yeah. enough? Yeah. Okay, so 3.2k. So would you think it was that looking at the map? You know, it looks like a small yeah, little area, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, if you think that it was four kilometers from Roundwood to Balnestow, you'd yeah. never guess you never that it was, was three, yeah, would exactly, you? Yeah. So it's just amazing how it twists and turns back it on does, itself. Yeah. Sure, it makes a difference, alright. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's good to know what we're in for, anyway. Yeah, so, that's true, yeah. Okay, now maybe just touch on something else. See, we've got these thinner lines coming across, these wavy lines. Yeah. They're your contour lines, okay? Okay. So, how do you know if this is uphill, downhill, if it's going to be steep, or if it's going to be mm -hmm. kind of a shallow gradient. Do you have any idea how you might work that out? No idea, would you? No, I'm guessing the lines. Yeah. So they're, they're your contour lines. Okay. And a couple of things with them, that I guess the fundamentals are, the tighter the lines, the steeper the incline. Okay. Right. So if you look at maybe the the land above Loch Tay, it's really tight, isn't it? Yeah. So it's almost a cliff edge here. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at, say, this route that we're taking, our track contours around and follows the gradient. Okay. So you know it's going to be relatively shallow for the first while, it's yeah. not going to be too steep. And then I guess somewhere up here it's going to kick up and get a little bit steeper. Okay. So just to know that we might save a little bit of energy for the end, yeah. at least we know the start is, is going to be relatively easy. Um, then obviously you can see we've top of White Hill here which is up near our viewing point. It's a large flat area just indicated by the, the kind of gradient and okay. the, the circular plateau. So we know that we've got about 3.2 kilometers, yeah. mostly uphill. We know the end is going to be steep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what we'll do is... <laughs> Emma doesn't look so happy yeah. like that. Yeah. She's like, her face is suddenly dark up. Yeah. She's like, yeah. uphill, yeah. hang on a second. <laughs> yeah. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> It's tough getting up here, isn't it? It is very tough. Yeah. Very yeah. yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Some yeah. view when you get up to the top. If you remember, we were talking about the big contour lines, and if you oh, look yeah. now, you can kind of see how steep that face is yeah. down to Loch Tay there. It's pretty incredible, isn't it? So it's pretty nice that you can see it kind of matching up from the map to what we have in front of us. But, you know, we're well up here in the Wicklow Mountains. So. So how did you get on? I loved it. Did you? Yeah, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, <laughs> yeah. but I really, really enjoyed it. Did you go easy on them? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad, yeah. I tried to keep right. them. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Well, listen, I'm glad you had a good time. Are you going to come back? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Good stuff. Great fun. <laughs> brilliant. Thanks a million, I really no appreciate it. Thanks very much. Thank you.